Welcome back to our video module on mechanics and materials. Thus far, we've been looking at the stress strain diagram, trying to understand it more fully. But today, I'd like to take a step back and look at one of our first illustrations where we looked at the applied force to some sort of bar, and we saw that bar kind of acting a little bit like a spring, and there was some sort of small deformation. Now, as we've been talking about stress and strain, that's all well and good trying to understand what's happening inside that material. But now I want to know what is the relationship between the applied force and whatever that delta is. Today, we're going to look at the relationships we have built thus far to try to identify some sort of quantitative relationship between the applied force and the deformation. We're going to start at the beginning with a definition of stress. We know that force from this is going to be the stress times whatever the area is. We know that there's also a relationship between stress and the strain. So in green, we're gonna you know, add our green components. Stress is E epsilon, and we'll keep that A. So now we have a relationship between the force applied and the strain. Well, we're not so interested in the strain, we want to do the actual deformation. So in this case, we're going to substitute out strain for delta over L, and in green, we'll keep our Young's modulus, and finally, from our original stress definition, we have A. And if we wanted to rewrite that, we'd, say, we'd see E, a over L delta. And in fact, usually we keep the displacement by itself. So we have the displacement equals FL over EA. So now we have a quantitative relationship between the displacement and the applied force of some material with an area and a Young's modulus and some length. And as we explore the next couple problems, we'll get a better feel of how this equation really works and really feels in real life. So in summary, by using our definitions of stress, strain, and the relationship between the two of them, we can find a relationship between the force applied to some object and the displacement it experiences. On our next video, we'll take a look at this using an example. I look forward to seeing you then.